Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Sonali's Home Foods. Valentine's Day is almost here and it is time to celebrate with something sweet. Sharing with you all a recipe for strawberry cheesecake in a jar, which can be prepared very quickly as it does not involve any baking. So let us get started. First let us start with chopping the strawberries. We are going to chop them in big chunks, not very small ones because we are anyways going to cook them. For this recipe, I am going to need at least 4 cups of chopped strawberries. So my 4 cups of strawberries are all chopped now. In a pot, take 4 cups of strawberries. Now I'm going to start the burner on medium flame and add half cup of water. Give it a mix and cover and cook for three four minutes or till the water starts boiling. Now you can see that the water is boiling. Now let us take the cover off and let it cook. We have to cook the strawberries till they are soft and mushy. And now it is time to add half cup of sugar. Let's mix it. And let us cook it on medium flame stirring occasionally till our sauce or of this comfort is nice thick and cooked. You can see that it is nice thick and cooked. Now this looks thick enough. We don't want to, it to be very thick because anyways when it cools down it's going to thicken a little bit more. So this looks like a good consistency. I'm going to add one tablespoon of lemon juice to this. But if the strawberries are very sour then you don't need to add the lemon juice. So in goes our lemon juice. Give it a stir. Cook it for a minute or so. And now this looks ready so I'm going to turn off the flame and let it cool down completely. Meanwhile in a bowl take 2 cups of cream cheese. Now let us beat it with electrical hand mixer or if you have a stand mixer of course you can use that. We will continue beating this till the cream cheese is all soft. Also make sure that the cream cheese is at room temperature before you start using it. Now it is all nice soft so let's add 3 4 cup of sugar and again beat it for a minute or so or till the sugar is completely dissolved in this cream cheese. Scrape down the sides as required. The sugar is all dissolved in this cream cheese, so now it is time to add. 1 cup of whipping cream. And now let us again beat this till everything thickens up. Make sure you are beating it at medium high speed. Make sure to scrape the sides as required. Now let us add 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract and again beat for 2 minutes. After continuously beating it for 2 minutes, this is the consistency that we are looking for. Now let us refrigerate it for 1 hour. 
and now in the food processor jar or a blender jar take pieces of 10 digestive cookies or if you are using graham crackers maybe around 12 to 13 graham crackers and now let's cover it and pulse it for 3 4 times and then process it for about half a minute And now we have this cookie powder ready. To this add one third cup of melted butter. You can use half cup if you like it buttery and you can use one fourth cup if you want it less buttery because anyways we are not going to set it so it's okay if we use little less butter too. Crust part is ready too. So now in a jar, let's first add this cooking mix and press it down a little gently. And now on this let's put the cream cheese part. Around 2 to 2 and a half tablespoon. Now let's add the strawberry sauce or the strawberry compote. Now let us again top it with the cream cheese part. A little less this time. And now I'm adding some fresh strawberries to garnish. And I will also sprinkle a little bit of crust mix on the top. In the same way you can assemble the remaining chairs too. And then refrigerate them for at least one hour. And then our strawberry cheesecake jars are ready to be served. This is a super yummy dessert so do give it a try and let me know if you like this recipe. Please don't forget to hit on the like button if you like this recipe and also please do subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Wishing you all a very happy valentine's day. Let us meet very soon with another yummy recipe. Till then please take care and stay safe.